holy balls, I'm the whitest person on the planet. No more games, Chrissy. You're getting this video up there. You're gonna do it. You're gonna film it, and then you're gonna upload it after you edit it and make it all nice because I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of stupid stuff you're gonna say that you're gonna have to crop out. So if you are watching this right now, it means I finally did it, which means I stopped being a lazy bum and actually did something productive with my life, um, which is which is good. It's very good. I'm sure you didn't click on this video though just to hear me blabber about stuff, so let's get into the point of this video, which is eyeliners. I have two eyeliners that are like my holy grail eyeliners, and I love them both so much I don't think I could pick one over the other. The first one, and I know you guys have heard me say this like a million times, is the Stila Liquid Eye Pen. I love liquid eye pens. If you're not someone who does your eyeliner often or is used to it, um, it's definitely a really familiar feeling because you hold it just like you would hold a pen that you write with. For someone like me, when I go on stage and stuff, I sweat a lot because I'm running around and acting like a crazy person, so I want something that's going to be fairly waterproof, and this is, you know, really, really, really perfect for that. Um, it's definitely not going anywhere anytime soon. My other favorite is the Laura Mercier Cream Eyeliner, and it comes in a little glass tub like this, and basically the only difference to me between a cream liner and a gel liner is that a cream liner is creamier, so it's a lot easier to apply in my opinion because it really glides on where sometimes I feel like I'm just tugging a little bit too much with a gel eyeliner. And when this dries it also sets really really well. And to apply it I typically use like an angled, little angled brush which is really fine tipped and you can use you know whatever brush is most comfortable for you. So if you like like a flat angled brush better then go for that. If you like a straight um, eyeliner brush, do that. I like the angled eyeliner brush because I do still hold it. Okay, same. Be right back. In the back. Oh yeah, there's my dog, by the way. That's Sammy. It's not a stuffed animal, even though there's about 50 stuffed animals on my bed. That one is, uh, that one's real. So to show you how I do my eyeliner, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Cream Eyeliner. Um, you know, the Stila one, it's similar technique, it's just that you're holding a plastic pen instead a, of a makeup brush, so. Aww, puppy, look at her. Yeah, let's get nice and close in here, why don't we? Um, so I can show you guys what I'm doing. I like to do my eyeliner in shorter strokes as opposed to longer strokes. There are people out there who can just do like a and you are very talented people who can do that, but I cannot, so that is not how we're going to do it. Basically, the first thing I do is just get some of the product on my brush. You don't want, like, a big clump of it, though, so you might have to wipe it off a little bit on the edges. So I use the little pull method, and I know a lot of people are like, well, you shouldn't do that because you're going to get wrinkles, and, you know, you don't want to get wrinkles and stuff, and I'm like... When I get old, I'm gonna get old, and I'm probably gonna get wrinkles no matter what. If they're not here, they're gonna be somewhere else, and my butt's gonna sag, and everything's gonna droop, and it's not gonna be pretty, so why should my eyeliner now have to suffer because the inevitable is gonna happen? Anyways, like, it, it, it's gonna happen. Like, okay, who cares? Like, I don't care if I get a little line right here. So if you really care about, you know, wrinkles later in life, then I suggest not aging. Just pull a Benjamin button and start getting younger now. But I got the product on my brush, and I'm going to take and lightly tug at my little eye area right here. And I literally mean gently tug. You don't have to give yourself a facelift. The moment of truth. Okay, so I start out in the middle, typically. The middle is pretty much where I determine the thickness. Right, and then I bring it into the corner, getting just thinner and thinner. As I go, I like for my eyeliner to kind of taper off to the inside of my eyeball. And then I pull it back out and and at the corner. I got a little doohickey dot guy there going on. Oh god, now I got another one. I do the typical thing, you know, I start from the corner and I just start winging that guy up. Um, and for me, I kind of like my eyeliner to be pretty like straight out as opposed to doing like a curve and flip. Um, I just think it looks a little bit more intense and striking if it's kind of like a whoosh. And that's as far as I go to start with. Um, I know sometimes my eyeliner is out to here, but I always start here because it's just, you can keep building your eyeliner out. You want to get the shape 
done first. And then if you want more length, you can start building it outwards little by little. Um, that way you don't go too overboard in the beginning and end up having to wipe it off. You see how there's like this little upside down triangle right here? I just start filling it in. Some people like connect the top first and then fill in the space, but I kind of like starting from the bottom and working my way up. But you know, you do you girl or boy. And then you can like, you know, fill in any little areas you missed smooth out the edges, do your thing, and if you want to leave it that long, you can. I'm going to go back in from the bottom again and extend this again, and then I'm going to go back at the top and overdraw that little extension of the bottom and create my point again. And voila! You have made your eyeliner sharp enough to step somewhere. I guess I can get out of your face now. Honestly, just have fun with it. There's no right or wrong way to do your eyeliner or your makeup in general. To me, makeup is art, makeup is expression. I want to be happy and I want to feel confident and beautiful. And this makes me feel confident. Some people might say it's too much. Some people might say it's too little. And the great thing about makeup is you wash it off at the end of the day. It's okay to have preferences. It's okay to think that someone is wearing too much makeup or too little makeup or that you don't like the way their makeup is. But don't say it meanly. Let people have what makes them feel good about themselves. Don't take that away from them. Why would you want to be the reason that someone feels lesser about themselves? People that go out of their way to be mean to someone, you're literally expending energy just to be negative and to make someone feel bad about themselves. That's ridiculous. It makes you look bad because no one ever looks good at trying to make someone else look bad. You just look like a terrible person. And then it makes someone else feel badly about themselves. So it's a lose-lose situation and a waste of time. So just zip it. And if you guys end up trying this look, then I want to see it. And tag me on Instagram. Um, my at is Chrissy Costanza. Or tweet it to me. And use the hashtag Chrissy Wing so I can find it a lot easier. Hi, sleepyhead. You want to come say hi to the people of the interwebs? Here. Well, you're tired because you were just sleeping and you don't want any part of this right now. Say hi, I'm Sammy. <laughs> and I'm big and I got a big head. <laughs> she's like leaning into me and like, oh, she's like trying not to fall asleep. I guess. Mm, oh, thank you. Okay. Say bye to the people in the black box. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to subscribe and like the video and tune in next time. Yay, I'm gonna go back to sleep now. Night night internet people. Night night. <laughs> I love you. <laughs>